Welcome to You Curious, your ultimate space for science news and mini documentaries. Outer space is one of the biggest unknown entities to human beings, although space agencies around the world do their best to try to discover things that happen outside our planet. NASA, one of the world's leading space agencies, possesses a system called Sentry which exhaustively monitors asteroids and the possibilities of whether or not any could collide with Earth in the next 100 years. The American Space Agency had considered an asteroid called 2009 JF-1 to be potentially dangerous. NASA had established the exact date and time of a possible impact with planet Earth. May 6, 2022, and the time? 8.34 in the morning, Spanish Peninsula time. Until a few days ago, asteroid 2009 JF-1 was present in the top 10 ranking of our risk list for a possible impact on the 6th of May 2022. It is a small object, only about 10 meters in diameter, and therefore the possible impact was not of significant concern. However, its probability of 1 in 4,000 made it one of the most likely predicted events in our risk list, and together with its approaching impact date attracted our attention for further investigation. It was first found by the NASA-funded Catalina Sky Survey's Mount Lemmon Station in Arizona on the 4th of May of the year 2009. Unfortunately, nobody else detected the object back then, nor at any later time, in fact, the time span between the first and last observation was less than 30 hours, and resulted in a poor knowledge of the object's orbit that made the object effectively lost just a few weeks after discovery. The European Space Agency later assessed the accuracy of the positional measurements to a much better level, thanks to Gaia's unbiased determination of reference systems in the sky. This new information, extracted from existing data but with new tools that were not available at the time, was then used by the team to reassess the impact risk posed by 2009 JF-1. The results were interesting, the impact probability dropped to just 1 in 1,700,000, and the asteroid has now lost its prominence in our risk list, and is relegated together with other more routine objects that pose minimal threat. 2009 JF-1 is a small near-Earth object that should pass within 0.3 astronomical units, 45 million kilometer, of Earth in 2022. On the 5th of February 2022, the 2009 observations were remeasured greatly reducing the odds of an impact. So yeah, now, on the 6th of May 2022, it has a 1 in 140,000 chance of impacting Earth. We will only find out if the odds are against us on May 6th. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to You Curious, your ultimate space for science news and mini documentaries. The first country that one can think of, when someone mentions secret tech and aliens, is America. The USA has always been the most advanced when it comes to such theories, be it Area 51 or the Pentagon. They have been successfully hiding their advanced technology from the rest of the world. Secret documents have been leaked from time to time, but they have been able to expertly cover it up. For example, everyone knows about Area 51, but not a single soul knows what exactly happens there. It is the most heavily guarded secret in the history of mankind. Many people have come up with many conspiracy theories, but again, these are just on paper. There is no solid proof to support those theories. But recently, newly revealed secret documents have been obtained that will finally shine the light on the truth. These documents suggest that a government agency was funding secret research. The now-defunct Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program RTIP, of the United States spent millions of taxpayers' dollars on bizarre, experimental technologies like invisibility cloaks, anti-gravity devices, traversable wormholes, and a proposal to tunnel through the moon with nuclear explosives. The documents, which span nearly 1,600 pages, reveal some of RTIP's strange priorities. If you notice, the acronym sounds like a tip, subtly teasing conspiracy theorists and the common man, that we can only see the tip of the surface. Our tip was a secretive Department of Defense program that ran from 2007 to 2012, but was only made public in 2017, 
when the program's former director resigned. Due to many now famous videos of UFOs that the former director provided to the public following his resignation, RTIP became synonymous with UFOs that year. But the new documents suggest that the agency was up to more than just investigating reported UFO encounters. The most intriguing documents are the defense-related ones, which discuss the possibility of advanced technologies. These include traversable wormholes, star gates, negative energy, warp drive, dark energy, the manipulation of extra dimensions, and many other topics that will be recognized by fans of science fiction. There were also some bold, outlandish proposals of looking for extremely lightweight metals at the center of the moon. And, in order to reach the center, a plan to blast a tunnel through the lunar surface was proposed. Of course, the United States has not nuked the moon and now has no plans to do so in the near future. NASA's Artemis missions aim to return humans to the moon, for the first time since the Apollo era, with the ultimate objective of establishing a long-term human presence there. Nuclear explosions on the moon would almost certainly be counterproductive to this aim. RTIP spent billions of dollars to fund these absurd experiments, with no result to show for it. These newly acquired documents will be further looked into, and the new data will soon be revealed. Are there any conspiracy theories you know of that the government has successfully covered up? Do let us know by dropping your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to You Curious, your ultimate space for science news and mini documentaries. As humanity prepares to return to the moon, it is evident that we are not going back as visitors, but as colonists. Sure, the Artemis program's initial missions will be confined to landing astronauts and returning them home, but in the long term, we are targeting permanent bases around and on the surface of the moon for the first time in history. Future trips to Mars are expected to use a lunar outpost as a stepping stone because it will be far easier to launch them from there than from Earth. We'll most likely require devices both in orbit around the spacecraft and on the dusty surface to do this. For the time being, the hardware that will float around the moon is called Gateway. The power and propulsion element was supposed to launch this year, as the American Space Agency had predicted back in 2018, but it is clear now that won't happen. Delays are to be expected in space exploration. They go hand in hand. The launch of the James Webb Telescope, for example, was repeatedly postponed for more than 14 years. But don't even think for a second that NASA has abandoned the Gateway project. To remind us of this, NASA issued a graphic this week depicting each and every component of what promises to be a historically significant space station, as well as their producers. The Orion spacecraft, which will carry humans to the station, will be built and operated by NASA, while the European Space Agency will contribute the European service module, the refueler. Elon Musk's SpaceX is in charge of launching the station's components. Northrop Grumman will build the habitation and logistics outpost, HALO, and SpaceX will build the logistics module. Gateway is a multi-module space station that will be launched into orbit around the moon. It will serve as a staging point for excursions to the lunar surface, as well as an orbital platform from which remote lunar surveys will be performed. It will also have laboratories for analyzing lunar rock samples and for conducting other scientific research. It's a collaborative initiative involving the United States, 10 European countries, Canada, and Japan. Although it may appear to be science fiction, it is extremely real. And to be honest, it's all pretty cool. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let us know.